Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. We're going to do something different today. Got an IBM Selectric here. And it has, it was locked up uh, because of the, uh, mainly these carriage rail bearings were seized. Both sides, both, uh, everything's unseized now and everything is working smooth. You can tell because you can just uh, type a letter manually and it types nice. It turns nice and smooth. This was wouldn't even turn. So, that's all fixed. But in the process, it stripped the belt. So it wouldn't even start. In fact, it just made a hellacious noise. And you can see in here, the belt cogs here. And uh, even though it's working now, it's got to be replaced. So if you look in here at those teeth, there's some that are bad here. There's a couple stripped out. Let's see where they're at. Right there. One, two stripped out and the other ones on each side are compromised. So that belt is bad. It's got to be replaced. But way back 25 years ago or so, I uh, was working with a IBM instructor, Selectric Trainer instructor for IBM, he showed me something that they did out in the field sometimes when they didn't have a belt. And I'm going to do it now, even though I'm going to replace this belt, I'm going to do what they showed me how to do, which I thought was crazy. But it works. So, you take this belt, while it's in the machine, and you cut it in half with a razor blade or this one an exacto knife. So that's what I'm going to try to do on camera here. I'm going to try to, and let's see, yeah, so it turns this way. You stick, you just cut into the belt in the halfway point right like that. And then you just turn it. And I'm going to prop this. I'm going to prop this up here. I'm going to stick this exacto knife in here a little further. There we go. And I'm just going to turn this just like this and it's going to cut that belt in half and, uh, you just got to try to keep keep it centered I think I want some more light in here can't quite see Let's see if it's getting centered okay I think that helps um, okay that will help okay so so you gotta keep your knife. Like I gotta, gotta tighten this up. Blade is coming out of this. Here, let me tighten this up here real tight. Okay. Just back in there, and we're gonna cut this in half. So here we go. And it goes pretty quick once you get once you get it lined up there. So there it goes. It's cutting it right in half. Yeah, look good. It looks good. Oops. Keep it set. There it comes. Now it's, in, it's split in half. There's two pieces. See that? Alright, so now what you do is you reverse the machine around. <clears throat> back here and uh, we'll go ahead and take the, uh, the clip off here and uh, we'll, uh, what we're going to do is slide this motor belt so this one side will come off here like that right there I'm trying to get this out of the way here this wire so you can see in here what I'm doing and uh, so you get the one side off and you get it loose just shove it back in there a little way and then you turn you turn just to one side, you roll it around, 
Well, maybe I got to, uh, maybe it'd be best to come up here on the top and, uh, do this from the top here. Okay, so we got the one side loose here. And, uh, you just move this one around to a different spot. So there we go, see? So now it's in a different position. And then just reattach it. Re uh, <coughs> Let me put it back on the pulley here. Back down here. Let me fetch it out of here somewhere. There it is. Put it back on the pulley. Like that. Put this back together. This is really... I, I've done this two or three times, and I, I think only one time did I ever see the belt not work. Okay, so there we go. So now, flip this machine back up here, and let's back, and we'll take a look at these here. So now, this belt is split in half. But as we turn it, see it's got a different spot. To, you can really tell by the. So now it's got a good tooth. It's got half a good tooth and not a half a good tooth, but they're in a different position and she'll work like that. Isn't that a crazy, crazy fix? This thing is thumping a little bit. I think this pulley's got a little crack in it. So we're going to re redo this anyhow, but I thought that would be a fun thing to do on camera. And uh, they would do that if they didn't have a belt out in the field. And, you know, it didn't take very long to do that. And it would get a machine going. So that's our fun hack video of the day for an IBM Selectric belt repair. Isn't that strange? How that work? Two belts here. Pretty neat. All right, Phoenix Step Writer. Good day.